Hey, this is Ken Finn in a capital business tutoring. I'm going to get you through. I'm not going to do intros anymore. So all I'm going to say is I'm going to do a series 63 now, but I'm going to show you why speed kills. No watch. I'll probably do okay, but I'm going to take this. I only have an hour before my live. So I'm going to take this on a faster basis because I want to get done. And it's going to show you why doing, why doing it too fast kills. And you have to deal with the fucking cartoon. Okay, because I like this. I like it. It's having fun. So we're going to take a series 63 and achievable. Now, I can't say how much I like achievable. Again, I'm not trying to sell it. Don't even, you can use my link if you want, or just go to them on your own. Go to achievable.me, even if you don't want to use my own. Or if you go to my Facebook group, and even if you use your own link, there's a discount code, you can get 10 bucks off, and it doesn't go to me. If you don't want to give me any money, screw you guys. But I'm totally okay with you doing that. No, I'm not. Use my link. No, don't use my link. It's all good. Um, so I'm now right now going to start a 63 exam. Okay, we're going to start a series 63. And I'm going to do it on the base, knowing that I got to get done in an, a little less than an hour because it's 735 and I have dinner coming. So let's see how we do and how abusive this gets. Okay, here we go. Okay, which of the first, and again, this is a problem with doing it fast because you're getting, I'm not going to, I'm going to make stupid mistakes. Which of the following is not associated with registration by filing? Notice filing registration file cover security. So I'm going to go with state because notice filing is for SEC covered. And I'm going to try to explain stuff as I go along. An exclusion from classification, excluded from classification as an agent will be granted to which of the following? Who would you, a person working for the HR department of a company facilitates an employee stock? Okay, that, I think that would be okay. A person um, while being paid a commission? No, I think that doesn't work. A person with a place of business in a state offers aggressive securities only institutions? I think that would be an agent. And engaging in, and engaging in very, very few wealthy retail. Boom, you got retail. I'm going to say it has to be this one, okay? Because this is a person working. They're just, they're selling their own, to their own employees and then paid a salary. They're not being paid for their sales. Boom, okay. All of the following, I did this once. I tried this once and I did it way too fast. I did the SIE in 13 minutes and I, I did okay. I passed, but I was just like, wow, what did I do? All the following persons associated with the broker deal would not be disclosed in the firm's registration. So who would... Oh my God. Okay. I, I love achievable. But they love to spin me around. Okay. Spin me round, round, baby, round, round. Okay. Um, what's the name of that group? Okay. Do you think Karma Chameleon? All of the following persons associated with the broker dealer would not be disclosed on the firm's registration statement, except so one, two, so they would be disclosed. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, a secretary, the CEO. No, sorry. It's a good job, but not on there. Um, an employee with just an employee manager personnel, ooh, which would not be disclosed except so who would be person only? Just because you're a big time person, just because you're a print like a, a supervisor or something, doesn't mean you're on the registration statement. So if you own a significant portion of the business, you're going to be on there. If you know any portion of it, hope I'm not reading it wrong. Boom. See, that's what happens. You read it wrong. What terms and phrases are related to financial professionals earning markups and markdowns? Oh, ABC, agent broker commission, PDM. Principal, dealer, markup. So this is markup and markdown. It has to be a dealer. Broker, middleman, commission are all the same. That's a middleman. So trading for their own account. Okay. Two registered agents plan on splitting commissions. I'm going to do a follow-up next week at a normal rate. Maybe I'll do the 66 or the 7. Two registered agents plan on splitting commissions on sales to customers they both engage. According to NASA rules, what policy must be followed to engage in this practice? Remember, if you really want to do this, press pause and just do it yourself. The commission's supposed to be proven to equitable and fair. Uh, the agents may split commissions of work from affiliated firms. You want to know it's true, right? Agents may, without restriction, agents may not share. So, yeah, they can share. They should be at the same firm or affiliated and equally registered. Boom. Which of the following? Boom, roasted. Which of the following is a prerequisite to enforcing a punitive action if a felony conviction occurs with a registered person? The securities must be, no, so felony can be any felony. If it was a misdemeanor, it be after the securities or financial or taking of money. Punitive action must be in the public's interest. I like that. The conviction must occur while engaging a retail client. No, if you commit a felony, you're screwed. No matter what, so you're out. Punitive action, um, it's not all of them because they don't have, so it has to be in public interest. Boom, which is pretty much just you convict a felony, you're gone. The state admin in Delaware has jurisdiction necessary to investigate all the following circumstances except and again, a mumbling. You can read it yourself. An agent with an office in New Mexico makes an offer in Delaware. Boom. Yes. An agent with an office in Delaware makes an offer in Kansas. Boom. Yes. An agent with an office in Idaho makes an offer in Idaho. Whether broker deals out, I'd say no. An agent with an office in Vermont places a security transaction in a form of client in Delaware. Boom. Delaware, 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 not Delaware. Boom. We're going to go with C. Boom. 
An investor gets in touch with their brokerage firm to discuss the possibility of selling some stock in their portfolio. The agent working with the investor confirms the suitability of their transaction the suit this, and subsequently executes a transaction and collection mission. I totally lost what I was doing. The trade confirm. I'm worried about fast, right? The trade confirmation reports that the trade is executed in a principal capacity. Which of the following statements is true or correct? Okay. So we're saying investor gets in touch with the broker dealer to discuss a selling stock in their portfolio. The agent working with the investor confirms the suitability and subsequently executes or collects a mission. Okay. Okay. Ooh, agent collects commission. Okay. If so, the transaction we we took a charge as a commission and we said it's a principal. Okay. Well, that, that's an interesting. The transaction was executed improperly. So that's an interesting question. So you have to be suitable. It doesn't matter. So the suitability does not matter, right? But the problem is they sold at a commission, and they were put as actually on principal. So. I, they call you up and say they want to suit. So you don't have to about suitability. So we don't have to worry about that. The transaction was executed. By, I'm tough on this. And this is tough because they, they charge it. Um, what's the trade is actually with principal. So I'm going to say improperly, but I, I'm, it might be fine. So here we go. Boom. That's why it's too fast. Registration by filing relates best which of the following scenarios. Again, registration by filing. Um, It's not, remember, registration by filing is SEC, not state. Person exempt from SEC and state, no. Exempt from both, literally the bottom two bits say the same thing, right? Okay. So it's got to be top left because you're registered with SEC and not you're federally covered. Boom. Elliot Nicky is an IAR registered with CDE Management Group, a state registered investment advisor. Okay. Elliot retires after a long career. Good for you. Gets a go watch and nothing else. Girl, go watch and everything. In regards to filing proper withdrawal documentation, which is not false. Jesus Christ, Brandon, you're killing me. Which is not false, which is true. Okay. So they're asking what's true. Form U4, no, U4 is when you start. State admin will file U4. No, U4 is when you start. Must file a CDA, must file a Form U5, and IR is excluded from the process. Okay. Um, so for IARs, if you work for a state IA, the IA does it. If you work for a federal IA, IA then you do it. So I'm going to say that answer C. I could be wrong on that. It could be D. Okay. Jane Smith has hired a represent an issuer in an upcoming offering of securities. Their compensation is structured as a salary and will not involve any element of commission or sales-based income. Okay. While the offering will primarily involve credit investors, the issuer's legal representation considers a security and the offering to be non-exempt, which statement is true regarding the Mrs. Smith status? She must register as a broker-dealer. She must register as a broker-dealer. She must register as an agent of the issuer. She's exempt from registration of your form. So let's see, it's either the bottom two. Selling will not have any commission. Uh, no, it's not exempt. So she has to register as agent, I think, because she's nothing exempt. Okay. Watch, I'll be wrong on that one. The state admin has granted the power to revoke exemptions related to all the following except. I think, ooh, it's either top left or bottom right. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to go with credit union, but we're going to, I'm going to be wrong on that. Speed kills. I'd have to think about it. Family member of an IA, registered IAR, usually means federal, is a client of their employing investment advisor. The family member wishes to open a joint account with the IAR and share the gains and losses proportionally. What must be accomplished to legally engage in this activity? So, interesting. I don't think they can share. I have agents can share. I don't think IARs can. I'll be wrong on that, but I'll I'll take that one to the grave. Okay. An advisor maintaining custody of client assets believes his financials have fallen below them in required level. To rectify the situation, uh, this is the tricky one. This is achievable, has this that when you when you when you calculate, okay, you have custody. If you fall below, it's minimum 25,000 lots. So even though you only need to have 35 grand, you you can do 30. I guess you do 30, not 27. So it has to be lots of five. So it has to be like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All that would be 40. So you'd have to put in 30 grand, I think. Even though 27 gets it right to 35, it's lots of five grand. Boom. An advisor exercises just looks at the same thing. Okay. 
Is it less? Calculated at 34. So we think get to, but, but not custody. Ooh, that's a good one. So we have to do 10 grand because that's the minimum, right? Because you, you could do five, but it wouldn't get. So if you have if you have discretion but not custody, the minimum net, the minimum uh, surety bond is 10 grand. But yeah, so we'd have to put down 10 grand because you can't put down six. To get my cartoon, you can't see me thinking. I could be fucking naked on it. God, God, no. That would be hard. That would be a, that's like, that's why I don't go swimming too much because I'm always afraid I'm going to get harpooned. Okay. Which of the following statements regarding an offer it made in a rescission is false? Oh, Brandon, you're killing me. Which is false? So it's not true. Client is 30 days. No legal action. That's true. It, it has to be the bottom. Because you're not, you they can people you can still get fucked up on stuff, okay? The admin can still come after you. So all it's doing is saying you you pretty much the person can't sue you anymore, but the admin sure can go after you, okay? Which of my statements are true according to the provisions of the USA? And it, good, I'm going to be stuck with the true here. Agent registration being suspended will impact the broker dealer. No, a broker dealer going down will affect the agent. Like when I shut my broker dealer down, everyone's. Shit was done. Okay. So it, it, one is out. So any of the one, it is out. So top right is out. And then bottom right is out. Sometimes you can play the, so it's either none or two and four. A broker deal's registration will impact the registration employed agents. Absolutely. Fucking really. So two is right. So whenever the individual suspended, it won't affect the firm unless that person, unless, yeah, even then probably not, no matter what, doesn't affect it unless they were a primary person. So I would say two and four is the answer because the broker dealer and the IA if they get suspended, the people working for them are shit out of luck. Boom. Shamalama ding dong. Which of the following statements related to an agent are true? Form BD is a primary form to register agents. No fucking way. Two four. That's for broker dealers. For form ADB to, our, part, to be to be or not to be discloses the background and education history of agents. That's a true. So two is a true. One is not. So really that. Gets us down to well, we know the answer now, but let's go through them all. Um, actually, we don't. Okay, huh? Oh, duh! See, speed kills. Two is wrong because it's not agents in IARs. You probably all heard that. In the, so two is out. An agent is a natural person that represents a broker dealer. That's true. And four is not. So three only. Boom. Top right. See, speed kills. I caught myself. You probably all. You probably caught before I did. Of the choices listed, which is most closely resembles the legal definition of a broker dealer. So it's not an individual. So the bottom two are out. Firm executing transaction from customer agent to principal. Firm offers. So B would be an IA in a way, but so A is a broker dealer. You're, you're doing trans. You might always remember if you see executing transactions, it's a broker dealer. If you see giving advice or recommendations, it's an IA. Now, in real world, they flip over, but we're good. Okay. Form ADV requires all the funds to be disclosed by an applicant except total amount, in fact, wrap fee, confirmation, key employees, minimum education requirements. Yeah, look, Form ADV does not, nobody cares about education. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. Assets, it will do that. Yeah, I think that's everything. I think bottom top right, they don't care about the education. Okay. Broker deal offers margin accounts to customers like they all do. Which statement is true regarding this type of account? Loan consent must be fine. No, we know that from the seven that you do not need the loan consent to form to be signed. It's an optional thing. Okay, so one is out. So that means bottom left is out. The apothecation agreement must be signed. That's a true. The margin agreement must be signed and submitted promptly after the first trade. That's true. So it's two and three. So that's a thing. So I think if I remember right, you actually have a little bit, okay? You have a little bit of time after you sign it, very small, right after the uh, trade promptly that you can do it so i gotta be two and three boom and remember loan consent hypothecation and credit agreement have to be signed or the loan agreement margin agreement loan consent does not have to be signed still with speed i'm trying to teach an unregistered clerical employee at a broker deal is paid a bonus which is fine which which is true bonus may be only paid to register no they'd be pissed bonuses okay yes two is true you can't do related to transactions it can be for the whole firm shit um, so two and three so far are good. Two and three are fine. 
So you don't have to tell the administrator shit. They don't care. They're too fucking busy. After performing a financial analysis on the business and investment advisors, accounting team believes the firm will be unable to pay upcoming bills and liabilities. That sucks. That sounds like me all through my 30s. A prompt disclosure to all clients is not required. Oh, my God. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to go with top left, but I wonder if it's custody. It could be bottom right. I'm going to go with this because I'm not trying to over. I'm just trying to get through it and not think everything. All the following terms and phrases are associated with the principal transaction, except middleman, a pro principal, dealer, markup, trading for their own account, all that shit. Or together, principal, but it's not a middleman that goes with the agent broker commission. All the following statements related to an agent's registration are true, except, okay, remember, except. Agents may only register in a broker dealers. That's true. We'll come back to that. Uh, initial registration list one full year from the effective date. That's not true. Registration may be new by the end of the calendar. That is true. Four is not true. So three, three only. Yeah, because agents can be part of issuers. So I'm going to go with three only because one and three isn't a choice. Thank fucking God. And U4 is used to, to start. U5 is used to pull out. Leave that alone. Don't say anything, Ken. Refrain must not make a comment. Okay. A person's registration will be canceled in a state for which of the following reasons? They didn't pay their bills. Another, okay, another, so another administrator revokes, they could, they don't have to. If embezzled funds, I think so. A person is terminated from their position, mailed the letter, which was returned to the center. So here's the deal. Um, Canceled. This is tough because canceled is not punitive. So the left two are wrong. So I'm saying if a person is terminated from their position, no, they would just say U5. They wouldn't cancel it. So it's got to be bottom right that they can't find the person. It's a stretch, but I'm going to go with it. NASA's checklist on cybersecurity practices recommends the uses of which of the following transmitting secure information. Digital waterfall method. Well, that's probably it. Should be encryption. Ooh, it's either encryption or two-factor. I think it's encryption, or it could be two-factor. They love two-factor shit. But I'm going to go with encryption. Okay. To properly open a margin, you got the margin agreement it must be signed and submitted. Promptly, where is it? After the first, boom. Boom, promptly, promptly, promptly. Okay, so I used to think it was before, but I've been reading a lot more that it's promptly. Okay. According to legal provisions, all of the following are considered persons except 14, right? Boom. Remember, dead, dumb, don't touch. Remember, dead, dumb, dead, dumb, mentally incapacitated, and don't touch. Stay away from me. Stay away from Anyone under 18, stay away from. And in reality, most of us just stay away from 18 to 21-year-olds, too. They're just fucking trouble. Okay. All the following statements related to a an investor and advisor gaining initial registration in a state are true, except they fucking love accepts. A completed ADV. Okay. That's fair. Uh, prorated filing fee. We'll come back to that. Minimum net worth. Maybe. Surety bond if we grab the state. Yeah. So the answer is no prorated filing fee. You come in. If you register on December 10th, you're paying a full, you're paying full boat. Good. All the following excluded from definition agent and accept. So which is an agent? Okay. An individual, which could be an agent. That's the thing. So excluded accept means it doesn't mean it is an agent. It just means it could be. Okay. Let's go with D is out because it's uh, you're representing an exempt government. Um, an individual working for an HR while offering stock options and employees, that would be. Um, oh, we're going to come into it. Okay, we're going to come back to uh, number B. Yeah, so A is exempt. C is exempt. D is exempt. It's got to be B because you're just driving variable contracts. And, and you're not you're not giving, like if you are for an insurance company and you sell bonds or stock of your company, that would be exempt, not the products. Okay. Registration by qualification is for state only. Boom. Okay. So it's got to be top left. It's not the SEC. Remember, I'm just going through speed, so I'm not going to explain everything. I'm trying to show how bad it is. Watch, I'm going to get them all right. I will not get them all right, I promise. An investment advisor can be best described by which of the following. Hey, my food's here. That's great. Okay. Wonderful. My food's here. An investment advisor can be best described by which of the following definitions. An individual? No. A person? Maybe. No, because affecting transactions out. An individual, no. Okay. So it's got to be D because broker dealers are persons, yes, but they're not individuals. And yes, if you watch Past Perfect, they have some sort of like little nuance where if it's a sole prop, I don't give a shit. They'll say that. 
Which of the following statements related to for made EV amendments for state are as true? Must be amended annually. We'll come back to that. Material changes during the, okay, two is true. Amendments may be filed within 30 days of fiscal year. So I'm going to go with two and four. And that's not a choice. So maybe, can't be. Ooh, I'm going to look like an idiot here. State advisors. They don't have to amend it annually. That's the thing. So could be one and two. Oh, maybe it is one and two. Annual, oh, it's cli yeah, client charge 120. That's why it's one and two. Got it. Because it's the firm with the 90 clients within 120. So I'm going to go with one and two, even though I don't like it. Harley Davidson. Blah, 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 blah. He's employed by EFG. Like EF Hutton. EF Hutton says. Okay. If anyone's older remembers that the commercial, they go, I my broker is from EF Hutton. And he says, and the whole place stop and listen. Um, Harley is employed by EFG Trade Execution Services, a broker dealer firm dual registered as an IA, in addition to charging and commissions on transactions. So it's both. Harley assesses an advisory fee while offering advice on securities. What is the best indicator? Harley's employed with a broker deal with dual registration. Charges commissions. I got to think that's the only one that charges commissions. Boom. Okay. An investor goes through the necessary to open an options account at the broker dealer. They short a call on their first and only transaction. If the options agreement is not returned, remember, so if you don't return the options agreement within 15, yes, 15 days, um, you can only do closing transactions. So if you short it for the first time, you can only buy this shit back. And if you bought, you can only sell it out. So it's got to be a closing purchase. Which of the following statements regarding registration of broker deals is not true? You're killing me, Brandon, with the goddamn shit. Okay. Oh, I thought my food was here. Okay. Which of the following statements regarding registration of broker deals is false? What's well, not true? Filing requires. Okay, we'll come back to the criminal auctions. Okay. Criminal auctions have to, they have to be disclosed. A file once, that's true. Registration must be originally. Filing, okay, so I'm going to go with criminal actions related to the broker dealer need not be disclosed because you have to fucking do that. You have to tell people. Okay. An insurance agent offers advice on a wide variety of insurance products. Okay. Advice related to which of the fine products would be required an individual to additionally obtain registration as an IAR. Well, if it's a security, right? So it's got to be variable. Fixed, whole, term, not securities, variable is. Boom. Speed, speed, speed. Financial requirements related to the agents. Financial, because I want to eat dinner. Financial requirements related to agents go, which are the following? None. Um, I guess you can just say insolvency, but I think that's crap. If you go bankrupt, you just got to, I guess you have to tell people no, but that's not going to block you. You can't have minimum net cap or worth for agents. They don't do that. Okay. A registered IA is concerned one of the most prominent clients who is 90. We know it's 90, what there's around the door, around the corner, is financially exploited by their niece or nephew. I'm adding in. The firm believes the client may have lost millions of malicious, malicious family members. The firm wishes to place an indefinite withdrawal of the account. According to NASA, it can't be, it can't be indefinite. It has to be. Um... Oh, I got to think it's got to be only a court order. I don't think we can do that. I think it can go longer with a court order. I'm going to go with that. And they have the fucking numbers that everyone remembers. I can't remember that shit for it to kill, save my life. Criminal history is an important disclosure. Yeah. Imagine if the Joker came in and wanted to open an account. Want to be an IA. Related to registration of a person. When applying for registration as an agent, which of the following past events would not be required to be disclosed? Charge. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lying is bad, but maybe it's not the same thing. It's ethics. Security related fraud conviction 20 years ago, yes. Oh, I guess that one, yes, felony. Merge any charge, maybe. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe it's bottom left. I'm thinking. Okay, which the following statement is best aligns with the term guaranteed security? Okay. Um, it's got. You remember, we can't guarantee, but third parties can. We cannot guarantee, but a third party can guarantee dividends, interest, and principal. Okay. According to the USA, 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 which would be considered an offer and sale of securities? Not accessible. No. New share class. No. Free securities provides in the purchase of a product. I'm going to think stock dividend. No. So yeah, if you give, if you have to buy something else to get free stock, I'm doing air quotes. You can't see. If you have to buy something else to get free stock, it's an offer and a sell. Boom. 
Okay. Well, that's a long one. An investment advisor rep has a long-standing client that has that is millions managed by their firm. Every quarter, the IR meets with the clients to discuss suitable. In the most recent meeting, I reckon the IR recommends a security that was fairly aggressive. Although they believe it was suitable for the client in the current investing environment, a few months later, the security market about to decline by at least 50%. Wow, surprise. To keep the client happy, the IR refunded the advisor fee due to this. No, we can't do that shit. By guaranteeing performance. Boom. Okay. That you can't guarantee performance. If you do something that's suitable and they lose money, that's on them, not you. You can't give them. The only way it kind of works is if it's a performance-based fee, you just charge based on a strict schedule, you can charge more or less. Okay. So I'm going to go with guaranteed performance. We you find is the most significant role in this of the state administrator? Yeah, I don't know. Just to nail you. Okay. I got to think it's not t- top left. It's going to be enforcing anti-fraud provisions because they don't remember the investment company after 40 is not their bailiwick. Okay. A qualified individual at a registered firm reasonably, reasonably identifies financial exploitation occurring a customer. At the time, it is identified and withdrawals are detected by the account. All the following measures taken by the qualified individual comply with NASA's model legislation, blah, 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 with, except. So which one is not good? Notifying the authorities, okay. Notifying the trusted contact person, yeah. Delaying the or until the situation, okay. Okay, we can't do it. Again, I may be wrong in this. We can't do it indefinitely. You can do it for a specific number of dates, which I can't fucking remember, 10, 15, 25, whatever it is. You can't do indefinite unless you have a court order. Regulations contained within the UNSA require which of the following persons to register as an IAR? An employee of a broker dealer providing investment advice section and charging commissions. I don't think so. Because you remember, agents give advice. They just can't charge for it. The manager that does not provide advice to clients, but supervises. Yes. You're an IAR. If you give the advice or supervise those that do. So two is a yes. That helps me a little bit. Little bit. Okay. But we know one's out. So it's me easier. Okay. The appointed fund manager at closed end investment company. I think that works. Mm, we'll come back to that. A person actually can. So two, so it's, it can only be two and three because actually you didn't transaction for yourself. You're an agent or a broker dealer. Good. Okay. A natural person facilitates securities transaction while representing the interests of the issuer. Which of the fine best, trans, best describes this person? Okay. Okay. A natural person facilitates securities transactions while representing the interests of an issuer. Which of the fine best describes this person? Agent. What can I agent? Natural person. A covered advisor is planning on performing business activities in a new state. Okay. Which of the following statements written? Who cares, right? They don't register because they're a covered advisor. Filing famous, um, well, maybe. So I think it's going to be two and four. Is that a choice? Yeah, because they don't register. So two, one and three are not a case. But two and four should be the case because you just file a fee and you do a, a notice filing. And if you commit fraud, they can come after you. But other than that, they don't have jurisdiction. I think that works. Watch, that'd be two, three, and four. That's not a choice. An agent is contacted by an older friend to help them. I'm doing Italian tonight, I guess. Dump themselves stock in their small startup. The agent notifies their firm in writing. Where's the permission? A few days later, after the written notification is received. The agent facilitates the offering, raising a modest sum for their friend's company. After the offering, their friend pays an agent a small finder's fee. What's wrong? They did not get permission. You need permission, permission, permission. Boom. It's not it's, transactions outside. You need permission, not just tell them no. Having an outside job, you just got to tell them. Which of the following statements related to the security subject to registration by qualification is false? What's not true? God, I hate I hate the word false. Barring no setbacks, registration is deemed effective with SE in the 30th day. Hmm. Qualification state. Some securities may be subject to desk requirements. Okay, we'll come back to that. Required for non-exempt securities offered intrastate. state. I like that, but that's a true thing. Registration guidelines dictated by the USA. Okay, so here's the thing. It asks what's false. And I went right past it because I forget. That's why I tell people when you see the word false or accept, write the word accept on top of your paper and slap your hand on that and to answer the question and remind you to not be a fool like I was just. Okay. Post-registration obligations of a book deal do not include three-year total retention. Okay. You don't have, okay. So you don't have to do electronic. You can do it in paper. You can do analog. You just can. You don't have to do electronic. You're allowed to, but you don't have to. They did say accept, right? Did I go right to accept? Boom. Yes. Okay. A used car dealership robocalls friends and attorney residents and tells them, "We will give you a treasury bill for free. It's not really for free. If you buy an SUV, 
That is an offering. Okay. So here's the thing. It has to be A, a because it's not, because remember, B, the reason D is wrong is because it's a business, it's not an agent, it's not a person. Okay. Which of the following meets the definition of an offer of securities? Offer of non accessible? No. Free bomb and appliances purchase. That's probably the answer. Receipt of stocks to a spinoff that doesn't cost money and issuing a stock dividend. Boom, it's got to be a free bond when the appliance is purchased. Okay. Which of the fine do not accurately affect the requirement? Required disclosures on Form U4. All security related misdemeanors? Yes. You have to put that in there. So that's out. Personal balance sheets? No. Bank statements? No. Employment history for the past 10 years? So it's got to be two and three. Is two and three choice? Yes. But boom, it's got to be the answer. Because you do need the securities related to misdemeanors and you need their fucking employment history or their what they've been doing for the last 10 years. So I'm going to go with the two and the three. A two, one and a two and a three. An investment advisor provides asset management services through their discretionary trading platform. What is their minimum financial requirement? So discretionary trading. I got to think 10 grand because they don't have custody. It could be 35 because I'm totally fucking missing it up. All the following individuals employed by a broker dealer, which would be required to register as an agent in state X. So I'll work for a broker dealer. Okay. Based in state X. Oh, I like that one. They'd have to end up by owning performance. Can any clients? I don't care. Vacation, we never care. Um, sets meetings with. Oh, sets meetings, we don't have to do that. Okay. Vacation. I'm going to go with. You're based in X, you got to register. Okay. That's what I got to think. The reason C, I think it's tricky. Setting meetings unregistered people can set meetings. You just can't go to them. Okay. An exempt transaction does not exist in relation to the following. So which is non-exempt? Okay, I think two is okay. I think two two A is okay, B is okay. I think it's gonna be C is the answer. Unregistered hundreds of you sell to institutions. I gotta do this. Yeah, this treasury notes, that's an exempt security, not an exempt transaction. Selling to retail clients is not an exempt transaction. No, this security will not have to be registered. Why? Because it's a treasury and it's exempt, but it's not an exempt transaction. Big difference between exempt security and exempt transaction. Pay attention to the words. A consultant provides ongoing advice to businesses in relation to managing assets to pension funds. Which statement is true? They're providing advice on 200 million. Boom. So the, the deal on the pension consultant is that it's over 200 million. You got to register with the SEC. Boom. Which of the following best describes the financial professionals, financial professionals fiduciary duty? A lot of words. Okay. Um, basically, it's so you got to put your fucking person ahead of you. Prioritize your client's interests over those yours. So if you have to put, you have to say, if they're going to do something that's going to hurt you, you got to do that. Okay. Well, that's the end. I've answered 60. Let's see how we did. 92. Which ones we get wrong? Let's see. We'll go right to the ones we get wrong. Oh, look early on. Oh, a lot. Okay. Okay, so you don't have to follow the administrator. Boom, okay? There you go. Good to know. There's your explanation in case you're, you can read it. Press pause. I'm not going into it because I have eat dinner. Let's go to the next one. 23. Oh, right. Duh, 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 duh. If you only do it personal, we don't have to do anything. Boom. Sorry about that. My bad. Explain. Because if you do it personal, you don't have to do that shit. It's like newspaper. Remember, impersonal is like, Doing a newsletter, financial blogs, you're doing a website, doing a YouTube channel where it's not about the person. Okay. We did that one. We did 23. Yep. 25. One, three. Oh. Or two, accept. One. Oh, I'm an idiot. See what I did? I forgot the accept. Because that's not true. I should have picked that. See what I did? Boom, 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 boom. I see that's why you do accept. You guys probably heard that. Boom. That's why speed kills, my man. Speed kills. Man and lady. Okay. So that's why. So I picked the one that's true because I didn't see. I forgot to write the word accept. That's why speed hurts you. Those are little tiny points that you're giving up. Harlan, I'm glad that happened because that teaches. Okay. Didn't it? Oh, I picked that. Okay. Uh, accessory fear of offering advice. Okay. So I guess... Oh, I guess she works for broker dealer. I misread that. I get it. 
Because you work for a broker dealer automatically by charging a fee, they have to be an IAR, which is both. See, good shit. Boom. There. Press pause. Read the explanation. Fucking achievable has great explanations. I'm telling you right now. Which is false. I totally got this wrong. Where did I get that? Which is false. What did I? It's one late one. So I don't even remember what I was thinking. Okay. What did I do? I did the true again. See, I would. Oh, I could. I would have been a much higher score. See what happens if you don't fucking read. Learn from my mistakes. I got a good run there. Learn from my goddamn mistakes. Do not do it fast. Burn up chart. What's that? Boom. How did I spend my time? Longest one was three minutes. Slow was three two two. Boy, it took too long on that shit. Okay. Boom. Finish 735. How many? 32 minutes. Way too fucking fast, guys. Okay. So I did that fast. I would have... Think, if I had taken my time, I would have got three or four more points. Now, I have a cushion because I know this shit, right? For the most part. Obviously, you guys look at this now and say I don't because I'm an idiot. But what I'm my big thing is I lost three or four points. Do you have that kind of cushion? If you don't, take your fucking time. You want to take an hour to do this. I'll have this out Wednesday, hopefully... Guys, if you're bored and you and on a Tuesday or Thursday night, join my live, ask questions. You can even make fun of me for getting those questions wrong. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Let me go eat dinner. I have a, it's three tacos. Oh, how funny. It's Tuesday and I got tacos. I didn't even taco Tuesday. I will talk to you later.